Well, I know it's not usual for a Prime Minister to come back in this way, but I believe in public service. The Prime Minister asked me to do this job, and it's a time where we have some daunting challenges as a country. The conflict in the Middle East, the war in Ukraine, and of course, <laughs> I hope that six years as Prime Minister, 11 years leading the Conservative Party gives me some useful experience and contacts and relationships and knowledge that I can help the Prime Minister to make sure we build our alliances, we build partnerships with our friends, we deter our enemies and we keep our country strong. That's why I'm doing the job and I'm delighted to accept. On the whole, as uh, an ex-Prime Minister, I've tried to keep quiet about politics, stay out of politics. It's hard enough being Prime Minister without having your successors endlessly, your predecessors endlessly giving a running commentary. But uh, look, of course, I've disagreed with some individual decisions. But politics is a team enterprise. I've decided to join this team because I believe Rishi Sunak is a good Prime Minister, doing a difficult job at a hard time. I want to support him. I'm a member of the team and I accept the Cabinet collective responsibility that comes with that. Well, I think all those things were dealt with by the Treasury Select Committee, by other, right? other inquiries at the time. And as far as I'm concerned, that is all dealt with and in the past. And I now have one job as Britain's Foreign Secretary, as part of Rishi Sunak's team, to try and make sure this country can be as secure and as prosperous in a difficult and dangerous world. Well, I will be held to account in the House of Lords, where I have to account to for, for myself and for the government, and of course Andrew Mitchell and a very talented team of ministers at the Foreign Office will be held to account in the House of Commons. I'll obviously appear in front of the House of Commons Select Committees as appropriate to answer the questions. And of course, this government my role in it, all of that will be accountable to the electorate at the general election when it comes. 